Hey, my name's Sam and welcome to another Hot Wheels Custom. Continuing my series on Transformers, I'll be doing the Datsun Brothers Prowl, Blue Streak and Smokescreen. They're all versions of the Nissan Fairlady Z. And I have to say, this is one of my favourite car designs. It's a real head turner, I surely agree. Right then, time to remove the base and strip the paint. On the original uh, Datsun toy, you can see the wheel arches are quite civilian compared to the Hot Wheels, which has like got the, uh, the sporty, like rally style wheel arches there. So yeah, you can see there they stick out quite a lot. So I'm going to trim these with a Dremel attachment and using one here for metal. See that? And see if we can get these down and then these wheels will stick up too far so I'm going to have to trim a bit here in the base so that the wheels can come in a bit further into the body. Alright, let's get cracking with that. Get this out of the way, make sure no dust goes on it because it's it's not mine, it's, uh, it's my wife's. I've got to keep that clean. You go see I've just filled in the bits where I was a bit overzealous with the uh, the wheel when I was cutting off the, the wheel arches. And then I'll go back and sand them in afterwards. But apart from that, the front ones seem fine. They worked out okay. And uh, yeah. Oh, I need to do the where the spoiler was at the back that I need to do in too. Moving on to masking for the sports car, uh, the details such as this white pinstripe that runs the length of the car and the white squares for the racing numbers. The top half of the car is red and then over to masking off the red to add the blue on the bottom half. Now it's time to remove the masking and uh, these door panels came out as well as I could hope. Fast forward three months in real time and I finally get around to making the decals for these cars.
Now you can see here, I'm trying to do it as a natural wrap that you'd see on a regular car. And then I'm going to use some of the softener to get into the, like the door uh, frame. And then I'm going to trim a little bit and wrap it around the wheel arches. Let's see how that goes. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'll just cut the door out and just stick the door and paint the, uh, the front and the back. But we'll see what happens. For the cars with the trimmed wheel arches I made shorter axles from sewing pins cut to size and the sheath from a paper clip. To finish off the police car I made a siren from a transparent Lego tile and some sheet styrene coated in the Molotov chrome pen. Right now it's time to finish the police car with its light bar. So I've got the light bar there made from some Lego and a bit of styrene and I'm going to very carefully put a little bit of super glue on it and place it what I'm going to do first before I commit with the super glue is try and approximate where I want it I think that works so There we go, I'm happy with that, I'm not going to touch it anymore. I'm going to disturb it, but once it's dry, we'll put it on the turntable and we'll show them off. Alright, so all three of the Transformer characters are complete. We've got the Datsun Nissan Fair Lady done three ways. We've got the civilian style silver one we've got the police car and we've got the like racing rally car as well well i really hope you uh, enjoyed this video and uh if you did give it a like there are more coming um making new transformers for the future if you like these kinds of videos they'll be on their way i really enjoy them i just want to thank all my uh, subscribers 
people who've been commenting. It's been really appreciate all the comments I've been getting. Until next time, take care everybody.